Yo guys, what's up? This is my Glaco guide, and in this guide I'm going to show you how to kill Glacos effectively. So first of all, here are some stats on the Glacos. They have 40,000 life points, they give 5,293 total XP per kill. You need to have done the Ritual of the Madurak quest to access them, and they should give around 400k to 700k XP an hour depending on how fast you kill them. Here are the armors and weapons I recommend. So for the armors, you can either use Robes of Subjugation, Ganodermic Armor, Anima Core of Seren Armor or Virtus Armor. These are just the ones that I recommend, but if you're using any other armor that you like wearing, feel free to use that instead. And as for the weapons, I recommend a Staff of Light, Staff of Armadil, a Chaotic Staff, a Camel Staff and a Noxious Staff. Obviously the better one you use, the more damage that you should be doing. And once again, if you feel like there's a staff that you're using that's good enough to use here, feel free to use it. So here is an example of the gear and inventory that you should be taking. As you can see, I've got my Chaotic Staff equipped and I've got my Robes of Subjugation on. And basically you just want to be wearing the best cape, ring, gloves and boots that you can, as well as the best necklace as well. Also if you have a charming imp that would be really useful here as it can just pick up your charms. And if you want to use an aura I'd either recommend the vampirism or penance aura. And if you really wanted to you can use the runic accuracy aura as well. As for my inventory I usually take overloads, if you don't have overloads just take the best stat boosting potion that you can for magic and defense. You should also take either super restores or prayer potions. And you should also take some food just in case as well. I usually take a steel titan just so my damage output is increased and I also take some fire runes and some air runes so I can cast fire spells. So this is actually how to kill the Glacors. Head to the fairy ring and enter the code DKQ and this will take you to the Glacor cave. This place is usually empty nowadays so it shouldn't be too hard finding a free world. Start attacking the Glacor and this will move you into stage 1 of killing it. So in stage 1 you basically just want to damage the Glacor down to 20k health. Now if you have Soul Split, you want to be using Soul Split for the whole of the fight, but if you don't, these are the two attacks that you want to look out for. If he throws something out of his right hand, that means he's going to use his range attack, and that looks like what's been shown on screen now. And if he throws something out of his left hand, that means he's going to be using his magic attack, and that also looks like what's been shown on screen now as well. So just make sure you're either praying range or mage, depending on what attack he's using, and this should dodge most of the damage for you. Also he has this special attack, and you should dodge out the way of this attack, he basically leans back with both of his hands and throws this massive icy thing out of his hand. Just move out of the square you're currently standing in and you should be fine. So moving on to stage 2 you have to kill all 3 Glaikites that the Glaikor has just summoned. The first Glaikite that you want to kill is called the Sapping Glaikite. This Glaikite special ability is Prayer Drain and every attack will drain 20 prayer points. If you kill this Glaikor last out of the 3, the Glaikor will drain 50 prayer points every hit for the remainder of the fight. The second Glaikite you want to kill is called the Enduring Glaikite. And this guy's special ability is damage reduction, so the closer it is to the Glacor, the less damage it takes. If this one is killed last, the Glacor will take 60% less damage for the remainder of the fight. So you want to make sure that you do not kill this one last, because this will slow down your kills per hour quite a lot. And the last Glacite is the Unstable Glacite, and this guy's special ability is exploding. So he will have a little bar above their head, and when it fills up, they will deal damage equal to 33% of your current life points. So make sure you're out of the way of it when it explodes, but also when it explodes it will damage itself for 90% of its life points as well. So it should be easy to kill as soon as it blows up. If it's killed last the Glaco will also have a bar above their head and it will explode with a bigger radius once the bar fills up. So if the bar does manage to fill up whilst you're killing the Glaco, make sure you're standing a few squares away otherwise you will get hit for quite a bit of damage. So this is what I usually do when the Glaikites spawn. I usually use the train ability on the Glaikites so the Enduring one actually comes towards me. This is because the Enduring one isn't aggressive at first and you want to get it as far away from the Glaco as you can so you can actually do damage to it. So just make sure you're a few squares away and then just kill them in the order that I said before. Then once you have killed all the Glaikites you can move on to stage 3 of killing the Glaco. And basically stage 3 is proceeding to finish off the Glaco, bearing in mind the special ability it has inherited. And this stage should really be as easy as stage 1 since you should have killed the unstable one last. So the special ability it had inherited should not be a problem. So that is pretty much it, killing Glacos is actually pretty easy once you get into the rhythm of killing it. So once you actually start getting used to it, you should be making quite a bit of money here and you also should be getting quite a lot of XP as well. But anyways, I hope this guide helped you. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you're new and peace.